I'm from Milton and our family home is Drafty. About a year ago, when I was eight months pregnant with our first child, we decided to get a bigger house for our expanding family. And at eight months pregnant, you're not really cold, but I noticed that our, our home was drafty, which is something we didn't expect because the house is only 10 years old. Heat is not something we thought we'd have to deal with, so we were a little disappointed to, to feel some drafts. As we got deeper into the winter season, we brought our son home. We noticed how cold the house was and drafts from the windows and some of the doors and noticed how cold it was. We would bring a portable heater wherever he was just to make sure he was warm enough. Now that the weather is starting to get colder, even with the heat on, we're, we're starting to notice that we have drafts in our house. So even feeding him in the morning in the kitchen, you know, he's crawling around everywhere. And you, the last thing you want is cold, cold feet on a little baby. So we're, we're turning up the heat a little bit more than I think we probably need to. Marilyn, please help our family stay warm this winter. Whether your house is 10 or 100 years old, there's a few key areas where heat loss occurs. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot those zones so you can have yourself a nice warm winter. This house has a forced air heating and cooling system. Now one of the problems here is there's a lot of leakage through all the joints in the ductwork so the air doesn't quite make it to the rooms that we want it to make it to, which is the furthest rooms away from this furnace room. Now that happens through all the joints of the ductwork and even when people try to tape it, it dries up over time and falls off and you get additional leakage. So I got my friends here from AeroSeal. First they do a test to see how much leakage there is in the system. Then they plug all the vents, they put in some filtration systems around the house and then they connect a pipe to the main plenum of the furnace and they inject that mist with high pressure throughout the whole system. And here we're anticipating to have at least 90% reduction in the leakage in the system. Is it warmer now? Oh, yeah. Warmer. So did you see a big difference? Yeah, oh, yeah, our heater doesn't, it goes on in spurts, like shorter spurts now. Like it, yeah. The house heats up a lot, lot faster. So 20 minutes of heating, it's yeah. down to five. Like oh good, five, yeah. that's good. It's going to save you money in the long run. You are a save miracle you worker. Money. That's yeah, good. Time. Yeah. That's, that's good. Uh, that's got to be the nicest furnace room I've ever seen. Oh, thank oh, you. Did you <laughs> tie it up before you clean up before he came over? Yeah, of course. All, uh, the, all the junk is behind the camera. Move it all to the back side of the camera. And I was just, I was saying to Ransom too, it depends on the time of year when you do that stuff outside, right? Because you got to now or earlier. Yeah, right, right. right. Well, one, you don't want to work out in the cold. Two, it, it's harder, especially with caulking and, yeah. and just doing the job right. It's right. nicer when you have nice weather. Yeah. Very good. All right. I have to good. remember to serve him coffee and donuts. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>